busy life. Do you know what I'm getting myself into today? I'm going to go pick up some ducks from the post office. Yes, I said ducks. What kind of ducks are we getting, Katie? Blue runners. Blue runners. I've been calling them blue walkers. So, yep, I'm going to go pick up some duckers. So, uh, and then I think I'm going to come back home and lay down because I'm poop tired. All right, y'all, in a minute, I'll show you the duckers. All right, you guys, this is how ducks come. They come in a box. Sure. With holes. They come in a box with holes. Handle with care. Handle with care. Okay, we're heading home now. Look, y'all, an empty container. An empty container. Nothing in it. An empty container. I put the water over here to the left a little bit. Away from the... You just flip it. There you go. I put it over there. Alright, we're going to open some duckers. We're going to open some duckers. Okay, we're going to open the duckers. We're going to put the box inside. No, I was going to put them in one at a time. Okay. I put the box inside. because they haven't they've been shipped for two days yeah. and this way they um get some water and they're mm -hmm. holding them very careful yeah she's not forcing their heads in she's encouraging them. see that one's going right back by her phone look at that look at that come on that one went all by itself back that's it yeah. All right, here's our ten little ladies. Our ten little blue runners. Hello, babies. I think we have two slow ones over here who are pecking at their reflections. No, there's some over here doing the same thing. Okay, we have four slow ones here. Well, just for today, so they know for sure that's where food is. We can pick out little doo doos. We can pick it clean. Got nothing else better to do. Not going nowhere. So I think we can pluck duck crap. Oh, look at them pretty babies. They keep walking it. You might have to put it underneath the light to warm up the water because it's cold. That's true. I have to put it over here, like right here. I'll let you decide that. Crazy duck lady. Because they're all hovering around the water. Well, Lena say we got 10 live babies today. Yes. That's a good sign. Because they've been traveling, what, for two days? Yes. All right, I'm going to leave Katie and her duckers. For now but yeah we now happy owners of 10 blue runner duckers females hopefully Decent. yeah all right this is a whole day with the duckies now they all look like they're doing well they all look like they're thriving they all look like they're walking around mm -hmm. and a couple of them just pooped on me yeah which one of you little pooper makers quackers little Cracked, cracked on, on me, huh? Which one of you little crackers crapped on me, huh? Here's Katie in one of them. It's okay. 
it's okay. Crazy duck lady. It's okay. I've been singing to them. We want to uh, get them very used to being handled. So if we ever had to do something for them, we could do it. Yeah. Hopefully none of them Boy, can. you guys like your water, don't you? I think it's natural instinct to try to get in it when you're a duck. What is that saying? Like a duck to water? Take to it naturally, like a duck to water? I think that's the saying. Yeah. I'm just glad we got them all alive. Thank you, giving them all, all a chance to fly. They got their light on them because it's supposed to be chilly tonight. First chilly night in Florida in a long, 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 long time. It's actually kind of cool as out right now. Okay. All right, you guys, this is day four. Day four with these little guys. Day four. And they're starting to stink a little bit. Yeah. Katie will have to come out and clean up the cage. So, we turned out the light. I'm going to give them some more food. They eat so much food. But we really don't want to waste the food by them walking all in it. So, we've been coming in uh, here every, every hour or two and giving them more food. It just makes more sense to do it that way than for them to waste food. So we've been just coming here and giving them a cup of food, a scoop of food. We've been giving them a scoop of food. Now wait a minute, see if they eat it all up and then give them some more. But they're, we've had them for four days. They've gotten a little bit bigger, not a lot, but a little bit. Yeah, we keep the heat light on them to keep them warm. Again, I believe these are called blue runners. So, hey babies, hey babies. Hey, ladies. But these are the babies. I think next week we're going to introduce them to... Monday or Tuesday, we're going to introduce them to um, a little bit of applesauce and some frozen peas, kind of, um, because that's one of the things Katie found out they can eat. So I think we're going to introduce them to applesauce and peas as a treat. Yes, baby. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I get my hands in there more often. Yesterday I was feeding them out of my hand, but today I haven't. Only because I've been working on a project in the back in the art studio. And I've been using a chemical. And um, it's not toxic, the chemical. Because Chrissy eats, the dog eats my beads from beginning to end. But... I don't want to take a chance if my hands are flaking from the chemical of them getting it. So, needless to say, hey, pretty babies. But I wanted to end this video on the ducks. They have been with us now for four days. I We haven't lost one, so I would say we're healthy-ish. I mean, there's no guarantee we could still lose a duck. But we are very happy with not have lost any more. 
guess they're not going to go through that real fast. So I can come back and check on them later and see if they need more food. Because as I go back and forth to the art studio to the house, I've been stopping in here and checking on the ladies. And then Katie's been coming out and checking on them. So um, that way, because we had a food, you guys saw it before, a red uh, food tray. But they were walking in and out of it. And um, they pooped in it. And we didn't really want them pooping in their food. So we decided for the moment to put a smaller food container in there. Just keep a really close eye on it and make sure they eat. Eventually, I think she's planning on getting them on a food schedule. Like... Um, they'll be free ranged when they get older, so they'll be able to eat bugs and ants and all kinds of stuff, um, on the, pro on the property. And then there'll be a certain time of day she'll feed them, so they'll go back up in their coop, their pen. But right now, while they're babies, we want to make sure they get plenty of food so they can grow healthy. But eventually, there'll be certain times that they will be given certain things, like they'll be given, um treat or whatever type mixture um at one time and uh then they'll be fed in the evenings because we want to get we want to train them in that with the chickens that we had we train them with food that's how we train the chickens so <clears throat> okay the food's sealed up all right so that is it on the ducks these, again, are called Blue Runners. I think that's the, the quick name for them. Um, they stand up more when they walk. So, I will update you guys down the road on our, on our duckies. But until then, like and subscribe. And as I always say, enjoy the craziness of life because you just might laugh about it when you tell a friend. See you on the next video.